So here's a picture of uh, John Nelson and John Downs asking for a refreshment at Truent. So this is how it all started happening. And, um, and they got it and they were very grateful. Oh, the light's better that way, isn't it? I know that this man who often comes our way is a holy man of God. Let's make a small room on the roof and put in it a bed, a table, chair and lamp for him. Then he can stay there whenever he comes to us. 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 9 to 10. So um, this little bit on the right hand side here is the prophet's chamber. Uh, for itinerant preachers and itinerants might be put up there as well. The bit on the left there is the original house of the people who gave the prophet's chamber and now that's been converted into a sort of visitor centre and then over this side they've they've got gardens where they hold a service and and just make it generally nice. A prayer garden. Wesley's cottage at Truint and this is the upstairs room and it's got the chair, the writing desk and a lamp and the bed and I'm led to believe that a traveller can stay here if need be, especially a preacher who's looking for somewhere in the night, big old chest here. But as is the tradition of Wesley, it's quite plain. Um, white walls. We've got the history of the cottage through the years here. And I'm told that Wesley didn't actually live here, but he used it when he was travelling down to Cornwall. And he stayed here about five or six times. This is a tableau of John Wesley. So here's the story of the Truent cottage and how it came to be. Um, if you wish to read it, uh, pause the video and, uh, and read it. A little bit archaic language in my view. Uh, I'm not that wonderful a reader so I, I don't think I'd be able to read it very well. But uh, a nice little idea and um, very charitable couple. A very old lecture. Sticks here and a little um, timer, and one wonders how long that time would be, and well, it's the amount of time that he would have to preach for. Some sort of indication on the top. <laughs> 